travel vlog series. We're on our way to Japan this morning. I'm so excited. <laughs> Off for two weeks. Sorry if you can hear shower sounds in the background. James is currently showering. We have finally made it to Tokyo after a very long 14 hour direct flight from New York. So I am so tired right now. Staying near the airport for just one night. Japan I know is like known for being super clean and like beautiful. I have never seen pillows this immaculate in my entire life guys. Just like wait a second. Tell me these are not the most immaculate pillows you've ever seen. How do they get them to look like this? I'm so impressed. Cannot wait for a good sleep. Our hotel has a 7-Eleven convenience store. I'm gonna pick up some breakfast and maybe some snacks for tomorrow. We have finally, finally made it to our first destination in Japan after one and a half days of traveling. It is so cold outside right now. It is 19 degrees Fahrenheit and I am all bundled up because my toes are still de-thawing. But this is our room. There's a James. <laughs> I'm so excited to be skiing and like we have some very nice Welcome fruit and chocolate biscuits, which I'm so excited to eat. Rise and shine from Niseko. It is, let me show you guys, it is absolutely crazy outside. The visibility is like 0%. We're supposed to have a mountain view, but as you can see, well, you can see nothing. Hopefully that at least means we'll have good powder for when this stops. <laughs> I have to brace myself to go out there. We're gonna go downstairs and get some breakfast, fill ourselves before traversing out into that. <laughs> but I am so, so excited to be skiing in Japan. What a dream. Let's go find some food. Marshmallow it up. I'm so warm, so we are going to 
go outside now. Off for day one. I won't bring my camera on the slopes because that seems like a bad idea. I'll try and film some footage on my phone. So see you guys on the slopes. You guys, look at my nose. It's so red. <laughs> so cold. It's like 19 degrees outside, which like isn't even that cold, but I run really, really cold as a person, so I can't even feel it. craziest glitch in the James. I'm so tired. It took us like 15 minutes to stand back up on this hill in this powder. Go, 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 go. Half day hair check. This is the situation. I'm gonna find some lunch and then head back out. The snow is beautiful today and the list all opened up. It was a very fun first half day. everyone it is our last day of skiing here in Niseko we're actually going to try a different ski resort today there's like four or five in this area that are all part of like Niseko skiing we are right next to a resort called Niseko village but there's one that's not too far away called Harafu that apparently has like better runs open today so we are going to hop on a bus and head over there it's actually a winter wonderland outside today
Drink it. It's warm. It's warm. It's literally warm. I don't want warm. I'm so thirsty. I would like something ice cold. Yeah. That's a hundred. It's fifty. Mmm. Tea. Is it tea? Okay. Cheers. restaurant right now and there's like food in this like grocery market slash street food market place and these strawberries i've been seeing people in hokkaido with like packs of strawberries but i haven't seen any for sale until now they are so like perfect and neatly packaged We are at the airport waiting for our flight to Osaka. We have like a couple of hours to kill. There's so many food stalls here and everything looks so good. So we got a little ice cream. Hokkaido is really known for all of their dairy products. Just Hokkaido like milk by itself is really famous. And we found a milk stand that sells Hokkaido ice cream. And I've been wanting to try this while here. So I'm happy that we got the chance to before we left. I know this is like, this sounds obvious, but it tastes really milky in like a really fresh way. I don't know why you guys, but I'm so tired today. I had like a double espresso in the morning and I'm still exhausted. I think maybe from skiing, like my body is just really sore. Yum, yum, yum. I'm really looking forward to Osaka because it's known to be like a food city. And so definitely some street food markets I want to hit up. Lots of good dessert spots and cafes. I don't know why the cows here are so happy, but everything that's here tastes so good. Like the yogurt at the breakfast buffet was so good. From brulee, panna cotta, everything's so good. It almost tastes like you could eat it with cereal. Yeah, this is so fresh. I agree. Nothing like ice cream on a cold day.